Hi, and welcome to another desktop tutorial session on learning with HDI. My name's Peter, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add extensions to your Chrome browser to enhance the functionality of Chrome. Now, Chrome's an extremely powerful browser, but extensions lift the game. It allows you to add all sorts of wonderful tools, such as annotation tools, input tools. I've got a screen recorder. There's some of my favorite extensions. You can add in some incredible extensions that really enhance your productivity in using the Google Chrome browser, etc. Right, so let's get started. One of the easiest ways to find the store is just do a search on Chrome extensions in Google, and it will bring up the Chrome Web Store. The Chrome Web Store is where you can find all these great extensions. You can add themes. There's all sorts of other things you can do within Chrome. All right, speaking of piano, a piano. Let's have a look to see what it gives me in terms of extensions. There's a few there. If you want more, if you find that that's not enough, right, you've got the themes, you've got the extensions there, just click the more extensions. What it will do is then go and do a really deep find for all sorts of things of piano relating to your search. In this case, I'm going to pick this featured Chrome piano. Why not? You click it, um, you can read the privacy practices privacy practice really handy to see what data will be disclosed. The reviews often give you an idea of how things are with the, the extension too. Great idea for checking whether, you know, it might be spamware or if it doesn't quite suit your needs or if there's problems in using that extension. Once you've gone through everything you need to know about the extension itself, you can then add it to Chrome just by clicking the add to Chrome button. It will go away checking. It'll ask you, it'll ask for permission to do so click add extension and it will go away and do this. Now, just a word of note, not all companies allow for the addition of extension. I know there's a lot of Department of Education across the country that don't allow extensions in Chrome to be added. So some of these things may or may not work on your educational business account, but if you've got them on your personal account, you may be able to add them in there. In this case, I'm using my personal account, so this extension is added to my personal account here in Google. Let's just open another tab there and let's close the piano. You'll notice that the piano extension isn't sort of anywhere that's easily handy. On your toolbar here, you can actually change your settings to add your extensions. So you can manage your extensions. So you can set them there, whether you can turn them off and you can remove them from here as well. But if you want to be able to be able to access them easily, whenever you need to add a touch or a click, you want to be able to have them pinned to your browser. What you can do is this little icon that looks like jigsaw puzzle is where your extensions are. You can pin extensions to your browser taskbar, meaning that you can get to them nice and quickly. If I turn that off, you notice my annotations disappears. If I pop that on, my annotations reappear. So in this case, let's pin my Google Piano to my bar. So I'll click pin, you'll see it's popped up here. The little traffic light symbol next to the pin there gives you more actions. So you can see what it can do. You can manage the extension, you can view web permissions and you can remove it. You can uninstall it here as well. So you've got a couple of different places to manage your extensions, right? So now that I've added it, I can click on that bar and I go straight into the piano. I hope you found that useful. For more hints and tips like this, come join us at hdinteractive.com.au.